everyone. Welcome to the suicide of Rachel Foster. I recently picked this up from Steam. It's on an introductory sale price right now, so if you go over and get it, you can kind of play along with me if you'd like. This will be a complete blind let's play. I do not know anything in particular about this game other than it's very similar to Firewatch. It's not a jump scare per se, but more of a kind of thought invoking adventure into madness. Not knowing what to expect, I've decided to wear the heart monitor in case any good moments jump out at me. I've recorded the entire playthrough already, and I plan to release at least two episodes a week, most likely on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So, stalling long enough, let's go, shall we? My dearest Nicole, you are the daughter every mother dreams of. Beautiful, smart, and fair. We've been through a lot, and I know things haven't always been easy. But remember what Dr. Franklin said after your speech at high school graduation. I've always thought of you as a fighter who faced with the toughest challenges, is capable of brandishing all the weapons necessary to fight courageously and heroically. We've never talked about what happened with your father, but now I need to tell you a few things before this illness separates us. Oh, okay. Maybe push. Okay, yeah, there we go. Yes, yeah, definitely kind of looks like we're at a funeral. I'm just kind of hanging out back here. Or... Oh, yeah, there we go. Need a little bit more of a push to keep out of the way. The affairs your father had with that young woman nine years ago and her ensuing suicide broke our family apart forever. I imagine exactly what was going through your head in that moment. That your father had and capably betrayed our trust and that she had done the right thing by throwing herself off that cliff. I was there. I've always been there. When you dislocated your shoulder at the first game, when you sobbed at night in the room you didn't recognize. Duncan was a good kid, but even if I've never said it so before, I immediately thought you wouldn't have thought to talk about. Talking is the foundation for every relationship. You don't talk, you don't, you drift apart. This is so much to say when you don't have a lot of time to say it. First of all, I'm sorry. I never thought rage was an emotion worthy of a good Christian, but I used it. I used it to endure pain. I don't want you to live your life like I have, my love. I want you to be free from the past and once and for all. That is why I want you to do exactly as I say, sell our hotel. The hotel is my family's and you're entitled to it. Go back there, Nicole. I've hired a lawyer in Helena, Mr. Jenkins. To give you this letter once your father has passed away. I will already be gone long. Take a quick inspection, sign the papers and sell those walls that hold nothing but rage. Keep what you need to pay off your university loans and give the rest of the girl's family. Let's end this story once and for all. We've always been there for each other. I wish I could still be there at your graduation, your wedding, 
my grandchildren's birth. That's it. We don't know how much time we have. Use yours to love. There's nothing else worth living for, fighting for, or dying for. Believe me, I love you above all else. Your mother. Alina National Forest, Montana, U.S., December. The bad weather crossing Montana is amassing all the characteristics of an atypical storm. The bad turn is proving worse than expected, with above average winds and snowfall, especially forecast for Helena National Forest Natural Reserve. The National Weather Service warns residents to follow all instructions given by local authorities and to avoid all unnecessary travel. Some concerned meteorologists are comparing it to the storm that hit Billings in 1955, with 42 inches of snow falling over a single night. Dang. Are we heading into the mother of all winters in Lewis and Clark County? One hell of a whiteout. Going nowhere. Hello from Montana been through Montana really beautiful country the smell that's all I remember from the night we departed 10 years ago Okay. I'm not sure what's going on. I'm just walking. Well, apparently. There we go. My controller had fallen over. <laughs> so this is a controller based or mouse and keyboard base. My car. What is this, an old Colt? Herbie's here. We're at the timber line. Locker room. A bike that. Leonard's bike. How do we know that's Leonard's bike? Do we know a Leonard already? Toolbox. Presumably Leonard's toolbox. I wonder if we have a flashlight. High voltage. Okay. Powder. And that makes sense. That's a good detail. You wouldn't use a regular style car extinguisher on electricity. You would use a powder based one. Well, this door's. Was that open a second ago when I walked up? Check in reception hall and locker room. I'm wondering if this door's locked. Um, yep, boxes are blocking the way. 
don't see any. Yeah, it swings inward. For the level. Multi lamp. I think the lamp's fine. It's the uh, lamp. It's the hooks for some reason that have broken off cleanly. I'm really surprised that. Uh, that's actually a really good lamp. I'm surprised it didn't break from that fall. Trash can. That means a dump truck actually drives inside of here to pick that up. Better, I guess they roll it out here. Roll it to the door. Button. Man, that is loud storm going on outside. So this game was uh, made in the Unity engine. You might recognize some of the things if uh, you play other Unity games. Some of the some of the basic uh, items or objects that come with Unity. For example, uh, that light switch, power switch over there. Any of you guys who watch my Asmophobia, Asmophobia series recognize the breaker. The attorney said to check the office first. It should be just beyond the mountain museum at the end of the stairs to the main floor, if I remember right. Interesting. Was that sign from the outside and just left there? Or somebody planned ahead and was like, does this then seem like this would be the uh, customer entrance? Oh, I got a map. Where are we? Locker room. Okay, we came in from the garage. Or this corridor right there. Boiler room, laundry room. That goes upstairs. And then that goes upstairs and that goes downstairs. Presumably in the tunnel. To another location. Basement, main floor, first floor, second floor. And there's a church. Can we go in there? Not go in there. It's locked. Is that the telephone? Oh, nice. I guess it wants us to go towards. Ain't going that way. Sounds like it's in through that door. Thank you for calling. Please leave a message. Damn it. Pick up. Okay. Man, that snow is high. Look at that. It's almost up to the windowsill. What? Nine one one emergency. How can I help you? What? What's your emergency? Hello? Can you hear me? What's your emergency? Does somebody call nine one one? Mr. McGrath, hi, it's Paulie from Century Telephone Company. I'm sorry to bother you, but as I told you last time, the company requires cutting off the telephone service to delinquent customers. I... I'm really sorry, Leonard, but my hands are tied. We have to go ahead. I'm sorry. Goodbye. 
They're not going to cut it off to 911. That's actually a federal. Uh, yeah, Nicole, it's Jenkins, the attorney. The hotel chain that wants to take over your hotel has just dumped a mammoth holy bible of documents on my desk that I need to check through. I have to personally go to the county land registry office before we meet. Listen, I know you didn't want to go to your father's funeral, but now the hotel is entirely your property. The law requires you to assess its condition before putting it on the market. Uh, it's, uh... Very noble of your mother to want to repay that poor girl's family, Rachel. Not everyone would deprive themselves of such a sum. Anyway, it's up to you now. Get to it. I'll bring you a burger, you Portland folks, and only dream of. <laughs> oh, I, I left you some notes and a master key on the dining room table of your family's old apartment. Start your rounds from there. Give me a couple of hours. Don't run off, all right? I'm definitely not going to run off. The weather does not permit that. We should have hired a decent attorney from Portland, Mom, not this potato head. Come on, let's do this. Okay, so we don't approve of our lawyer. Apparently we're from Portland. That Maybe Oregon? I don't know why we're here. If we're just here to sign papers and sell the place. We're in... Not a good person to do an assessment of the of the hotel. You would actually hire somebody to come do that. There. Can't read that. It's too small. Can I zoom it up? No. Yeah, it looks like it does the same thing. Yeah, it looks like they also the same thing. What else we got? I wonder if this plays in VR. Radio from the 50s, 60s. Somebody rummaging through the paper. Montana State University, Leonard. Grath, is that your father? His name is Leonard? Master in astrophysics. Wow, well, he was a, a learned man, wasn't he? We can't push this chair out of the way to look at that paperwork. Lucky stars. Is daddy a smoker or somebody who else? Leonard Scott. Nothing in the trash. Can't open this drawer. Can't look at this paperwork. There's a pen. Not apparently Leonard's pen. What's in here? Can't go through there. Oh, that sound just stops. Like a hard sound barrier, sound boundary there. August 1983. 25th. 5th of August has been circled. I wonder if that has meaning. And so is the 12th of September. Um, 
Ooh. There's an old Commodore for you. Is that an Apple II GS? I forgot. That is definitely a bit newer than the hotel. People with great passion can make the impossible happen. Oh, I love dioramas. This kind of instantly caught my attention when we walked in. You are here. Trail that goes up this way. Is that a plaque? Yeah, it's just a plaque. I'm surprised they didn't build up in this area. Good review. Pictures are sideways. All the veneer. Old and crinkly. I wonder if that means it gets moisture in here. Nice. Snow, goggles, and compass, the most essential tools for surviving the mountain. Good to know. Your um, climbing stakes. Hold your rope. Your anchor point. All my anchors. Looks like there's something missing here. Pickaxe is missing. Why is the pickaxe miss missing? Dude's old boot dead. Actually, it looks in decent condition. Krampus. Oh, I believe this goes on the bottom of your shoe. That gives you their, their spikes. Good way to get over ice. Like, say, if you were climbing up this way. Not go up this way. Came in that way. There we got it. Here? No. You are here. Okay, so this is the customer's entrance. Expecting there to be a uh, parking lot out there somewhere. Oh, those are some grand doors. Very tall. All room. Eight rooms. Dining room. Nothing under the counter. Can I ring the bell? Nothing special about the bell. Well, there's a rose in room 217. It's 
the only room. Obviously, we're going to have to go visit 217. <clears throat> Ooh. Yeah. Oh, the price. Welcome to the beginning of your adventure. <laughs> I imagine it's talking to us. And can't go through there. The thing's kind of funneling us in one direction. The closed doors. Before we leave that level, the dining room open or closed? Dining room is. Why can't we work this handle? There's no lock on it. Can't walk through it. Head Bob's gonna make me nauseous. What was that? Was that me? Sound like a woman. What is that? The seventeen's the next floor up. It's making that noise. All right, I'm kind of starting to get a. An overlook feel. Game better not put two little girls in the hallway. I will shit my pants. Music. A cult with no barrier. Binston. Interesting. Cigarettes just left then flying around. What is that? Apparently a tarp or something outside the window. Not going that way. Room 108. As long as they don't have a 1408. Words to the top single. The master. Telephone. What the hell was that? Science. 
I'm gonna guess this is the uh our residence, our family residence. There's a lot of <clears throat> what I'm assuming is daddy's books. Black hole. He's very interested in oh. the idea of an object in space so massive and dense that light could not escape it has been around for centuries. Most famously, black holes were predicted by Einstein's theory of general relativity, which showed that when a massive star dies, it leaves behind a small, dense remnant core. If the core's mass is more than about three times the mass of the sun, the equation showed the force of gravity overwhelms all other forces and produces a black hole. David Monroe. Is that a freaking kettle? That's open. Sponge. Interesting, I can look at the sponge, but I can't look at, say, the vegetable drinks here, or whatever they are. Cleaner. Mala? Never heard of that brand. Guess your dad has been... Light bulb flux, Loomis, background, subtract accounts, region, exposure time, light collecting area of OBs, fine scope, distance to detector. So he's measuring light, volume, and perhaps the speed of the light, radius. Not sure what the stuff is on the left. Hmm. Knife. Kettle. Another generic pen. Oop. I thought I was grabbing the pad. What the hell is that noise? That sounds like a water cooler. I guess maybe that's the pipes. Can't open any of that. Can we open the fridge? Wow, we are tall, or that is a short fridge. No, the hood is more or less the right height. So that is a short fridge. Ah, dang. Did Daddy go nuts? He is all about mathematics. That's pretty. Can't get back there. Somebody decided to block. <laughs> yeah. My room, my rules. This is. God, everything's here exactly the same as when me and mom left 10 years ago. It's so. <sighs> Doesn't matter. Quick tour, nothing more, Nicole. How are we getting power? I saw power lines out there. We don't supply our own power. And if they shut off the phones, I assume the electricity would be shut off too. Maybe we had it turned back on to come up here. We were a skateboarder, so... Victims in the last three days... The snow plows are ready, but we're waiting for the intensity of the snowfall to get possible blackouts in the more isolated areas. Make sure your generators are in good condition for stockpiles of fuel. Instructions refrain from going outside unless isolated to return at home. Adjust the freaking antenna. 
<laughs> That's a lovely dying sound. Oh, so whatever. What's on this tape? Summer of 85. Now, if it was 65, I had a song there. A good, good catchy song. What was that? Mixtape. Why can't we take this stuff? I want to put that tape in here and see what's on it. Wow, we took off and left. The lava lamp running? That's dangerous as shit. Especially these older ones. Like, the newer ones aren't so bad, but the older ones, those could catch fire. When they fell over, that bulb in there gets hot. We didn't leave the electricity on for 10 years, so... What is this? The hockey. Can't read that. 1981. Yeah, that's a that's about the right type of phone for then. This is the manager's key my mom wouldn't give me when I was little. Huh. I'll need a master key for the guest rooms though. Interesting. Why is a key left here? We like unicorns. My daughter loves unicorns. Okay. Why does that work? What is this a joke? Hello? Can you hear me? Is this Miss McGrath? Wilson. McGrath was my father's. Uh, uh this is, um, uh, Helena Federal Emergency Management Agency. Uh, my name is, uh, Irving Crawford. Uh, Mr. Jenkins told me you'd be arriving. Uh, Mr. Jenkins is a very enterprising man. Oh, uh, I, I guess so. I, I wouldn't know. I'm kidding. Oh, right. Any reason for your call, Irving, from Federal... Whatchamacallit? I'm calling to assist you during your stay at the hotel. What? Uh, the Timberline is old but sturdy. You'll enjoy your stay and be safe, no problem. Uh, the furnace, wiring, it's all under control. Oh, okay, enough. What? I don't know what Jenkins told you, but I have zero intention of staying here longer than, let's say, 20 minutes. Oh. Uh, but... But the storm. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I'm leaving straight away. That's... <laughs> Maybe you're not aware. That... Thanks for everything. Irving, right? Irving. Yeah. Uh, I... You... Uh... Bye. You're a... We're kind of a bitch. Honestly. You may not be happy with life, but come on. That guy's calling to help you out and you... Oh, apparently we kept the phone. Treated him like shit. And you're obviously an oblivious... I'm starting not to like our character. <laughs>